Verrazano has taken the lead and is moving away from a claim with a furlong to go. And then comes Retrieve in utmost intensity. Verrazano is running away, coming down to the 16th pole. A very sharp debut for Verrazano. A son of more than ready, Verrazano's career debut on New Year's Day wasn't totally unexpected. What the Todd Pletcher runner did for an encore, well, that did grab everyone's attention. It's all Verrazano running away. He's going to win this one from Brooklyn to Staten Island. Verrazano, very impressive. That win put Verrazano squarely on the Derby Trail. You wouldn't trade places with anybody, and, and we're just happy to be here for for a second go around. And, and uh, you know, we're excited for this Colt. We really think he's 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 got the goods, and we just want to, you know, let him show everybody what he's all about. Sullivan and his partner Kevin Scatorchio sold an interest in their star to Coolmore Stud, and they all enjoyed his next start, the Tampa Bay Derby. Bam into the stretch, Verrazano. He's now set down for the drive. On the outside, Jarvis War is coming with a big run. Falling Sky is toward the rail, but down to the wire, it's Verrazano, and Jarvis War is charging late, but Verrazano passes a big test. He's a graded stakes winner now. And just under a month later in the Wood Memorial, Verrazano remained perfect and stamped himself as a derby favorite. Coming into the final furlong now, Verrazano tested as he has never been tested before by Vijack. Two undefeated three-year-olds into the final 16th of a mile. Normandy Invasion is third, and they're coming down to the finish, and it will be Verrazano. Johnny moved on him two or three times, and, and to call on a young horse like that two or three times, throughout the race and kind of get a response is, is kind of a tribute to, to the horse. And I think he's, uh, you know, he's proving that he is a really good horse. And, and you know, it's, it's tough when you win the Wood Memorial by three quarters of lengths and, and, and people's response is, you know what, he didn't wow me. I mean, if we've gotten to that point <laughs> with this horse where if he doesn't wow you, uh, but you know what, listen, we're, we're happy. He's four for four uh, and we just want to move forward. One of the questions going forward for Verrazano is who will ride him in the Derby? Assuming he's healthy, that rider will be John Velasquez, his rider for all four career starts, who suffered several minor fractures in a spill the day after the wood. Johnny V hopes to be back by May 1st, which will be in time for the run for the Roses. And that's another Kentucky Derby profile.